Sometimes you eat crepes and you don't just get that good or amazing taste you always wish or hoped for. Why don't just stuff it with some fish and veggies and get it going? Keep watching ahead. This recipe is detailed. hello everyone your girl is here again with another amazing fish recipe welcome or welcome back to my kitchen today we are going to making some homemade crepes stuffed or filled with some fish and veggies trust me guys this is what you need for breakfast or if you have any friends and family coming over this is what you should make to serve them for breakfast and trust me they are gonna love you even more if you're new here welcome back to my channel my name is claudie and to my returning subscribers thank you so much for all the support if you haven't yet subscribed please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and let's jump onto the recipe these are what we are going to be needing today. Here we have some veggies, some green beans, peas, carrots, and onion. Why in this other bowl we have some black pepper, garlic powder, paprika, my all-purpose seasoning, you can skip that, and some salt. In the can, we have some tuna. I'm using canned tuna. You can use any fish of your choice. Any fish you must not use tuna. So right now, let's start over to make our crepes. So right here we have some milk, eggs, vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, and all poppers flour we'll also be needing sugar in this recipe but i just left it out when i was displaying the ingredients so let's start first by dicing or slicing the vegetables we're going to be needing i'm going to be starting first with the green beans then the onion is going to come later then we get on to sauteing our veggies to so stuff our pancakes In a hot pan, add some cooking oil, then saute the onion until you start getting that good flavor from it. Then the rest of the ingredients can come in later. So add all the ingredients and saute everything for like 4 to 5 minutes. Oh my goodness, guys, I love tuna to fill crepes. Like, I tried other fish, like canned fish. You can use fresh fish if you want, but to save you stress from deboning and all that, it's better to use canned. I use other canned fish, but I really, really did not like the taste till when I finally tried out the tuna. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was my stop point. It was so, so good. So I'm just mashing everything in there. Stay again. And yeah, it's ready. So now, guys, I will add it like one tablespoon of flour. Here is what is going to happen when you add the flour. It is going to hold all that in place when the crepes or the flat pancake had be, has been stuffed. It prevents it from falling over like when you pick up the crepe to have a bite. 
the flower holds all that filling in place and prevents it. Like when you put the flower inside, you notice that the texture is a bit thick and heavy. So I'm just blending everything now inside a blender. Get ready to fry our crepe. In a pan, I'm just going to put a little bit of oil because I'm, I will be shallow frying. So repeat the process for the rest of the clip. Right here we have everything perfectly fried, good color, the flavor is amazing. So let's start by stuffing it. You can put any amount of the stuffing or the filling you want inside. And it's going to be a very, very heavy breakfast. So spot that it's looking so so good guys it's looking good right that's what you definitely need this is just the perfect breakfast so let's try it and see how it tastes so i'm just gonna give you a big bite right here it's so so good guys it's so 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 good So thank you so much for always watching my videos. If you've watched to this point, thank you so much. And I appreciate you to meet again in my next video. Bye for now.